This is going to be the most powerful dam in the world, the Maydog Dam, a mega project being built by China, expected to generate a staggering 60,000 megawatts of power, enough to light up an entire nation and still have energy left to sell across borders. Currently, the most powerful dam in the world is the Three Gorges Dam, situated on the Yangtze River. But the Maydog Dam is designed to be nearly three times more powerful than that. And just to put that into perspective, the Three Gorges was so big, it actually slowed down the Earth's rotation by 0.06 microseconds. Now, imagine what something three times bigger might do. In this video, we'll talk about the world's largest dam, how it's being built, why it matters, and what it could mean for the future of hydro energy and especially our planet. But first, to understand why this dam is such a big deal, you have to understand where it's being built. Flowing through the mighty Himalayas is one of the most powerful and mysterious rivers on Earth, the Yarlung Sangpo. It runs east across the Himalayas, cuts across deep gorges, twists through some of the most dangerous terrain on Earth, and then it takes a sharp U-turn. From there, it enters India as the Brahmaputra and later becomes the Jamuna in Bangladesh. That's how this river doesn't belong to just one country. In fact, it's the lifeline of three. Farmers, fishermen, and entire ecosystems are all tied to its flow, which is why controlling it isn't just about electricity, it's about influence. But beyond politics, there's a deeper layer. The Yarlung Sung Po is considered sacred. In both Hinduism and Tibetan Buddhism, it's referred to as a living symbol. A man living in the Maydog County said, We have been drinking and farming near these waters for generations. Our ancestors forbade us from bathing in this river or washing our clothes in it, because we hold the Yalang Sangpo holy and revered. This sacred river winds past monasteries, ancient pilgrimage routes, and landscapes that have remained untouched for centuries. Now, that same river would be redirected through turbines, tunnels, and concrete walls. And if we follow the river deeper into the mountains, we'll reach one of the most remote places in all of China, Maydog County. Tucked away in this southeastern corner of Tibet, this region feels like the edge of the world. Thick forests stretch endlessly, cliffs drop suddenly into misty valleys, and the area is plagued by landslides due to constant rainstorms throughout the year. For decades, it was impossible for anyone just to reach this location. There wasn't even a proper road until 2013. And even today, there's no railway or major highway even near the county. Getting construction equipment here means dragging it along fragile mountain roads or airlifting it piece by piece. And if by some miracle it arrives, the altitude, weather, and terrain can cause massive damage to the machines and their parts. But here's the thing. China is still choosing to build here, knowing all this. Because in a place where no one else would dare, they see an opportunity to generate energy. You see, today, China burns more coal than any other country on the planet for its energy. However, the country has set its sights on becoming carbon neutral by 2060. And to do that, it needs to shift from fossil fuels to clean, renewable sources. That's where the Maydog Dam comes in. If completed, it won't just be the largest hydropower station in China. It'll be the largest in the world. With a planned capacity of 60,000 megawatts, this dam could produce more than triple the electricity of the already massive Three Gorges Dam. And from Beijing's point of view, this project makes sense. It's remote, yes. Risky, for sure. But it also taps into the Yarlung Sangpo, which is one of the last major rivers in China that hasn't been dammed yet. To put this into perspective, China has roughly over 1,500 rivers and more than 22,000 dams built on them already. So it makes sense for China to build this massive dam here. 
And if somehow they pull it off, they'll have a renewable energy source big enough to power entire provinces and potentially export excess power to countries like Nepal, Bhutan, and Bangladesh. In China's official narrative, the Maidog Dam is a symbol of China's push toward a cleaner future and proof of its ability to build mega projects where others wouldn't even dare try. While most of the world focuses on solar and wind, China is doubling down on hydropower. The Maidog Dam isn't just big. It's set to become the most powerful hydropower project in the world. When finished, it'll have an installed capacity of 60,000 megawatts. That's more than three times what the Three Gorges Dam generates today. You could power hundreds of millions of homes off this one project alone and still have energy left over for export. And the output? Around 300 billion kilowatt hours of clean electricity every year. That's more than the total annual electricity consumption of some entire countries. But it's also one of the most expensive infrastructure projects ever attempted, with a projected cost of $137 billion. That kind of budget doesn't just buy concrete and steel. It buys innovation, risk, and the ability to build in a place where nothing is easy to construct. This dam isn't like traditional ones that sit across a river and hold water back with a wall. The Yarlung Sung Po flows through steep, narrow canyons at the foot of the Nuncha Barwa Mountain, where the terrain is so vertical, you can't even pour a foundation. So instead, engineers are doing something wild. They're going to tunnel straight through the mountain. The plan includes four tunnels, each around 20 kilometers long, drilled deep through bedrock. Water from the river will be diverted into these tunnels and shot through giant turbines to generate power, then returned to the river downstream. It's essentially building a massive underground power plant hidden inside one of the most remote mountain ranges on Earth. And the challenges don't stop with the design. The Himalayas are an active seismic zone, and Maydog County is notorious for landslides, rockfalls, and violent monsoon rains. This region is also high in elevation, which affects everything from worker stamina to machine performance. Equipment breaks faster, concrete sets slower, and even oxygen levels can mess with fuel combustion in generators. Transporting anything to the site is a mission in itself. No major highways or railways lead into Maydog, and for the most part, its narrow winding roads get washed out every few weeks. Some of the larger machines have to be brought in piece by piece, airlifted or hauled slowly along temporary access tracks cut into the rock. Entire support systems are being built just to support the construction effort. And just to appreciate the size of this ambition, think about this. The Rogun Dam in Tajikistan, which will soon be the tallest dam in the world at 335 meters, can generate up to 3,600 megawatts of power. And if you wish to know the full story behind this mega project, then you can watch it by clicking on the top right corner. Coming back, Brazil's Itaipu Dam, one of the most productive in history, generates 14,000 megawatts. The Maydog Dam is aiming for 60,000 which is by far the biggest capacity of an energy plant our world has ever seen. Now, building this at an altitude of 4,900 feet with an estimated cost of $137 billion with constant international political pressures rising, this can only be dubbed as human engineering and ambition at its absolute best. But then again, international politics may or may not play a big part in shaping this mega project. So the Yarlung Sung Po doesn't end in China. It crosses into India as the Brahmaputra, one of India's most important rivers. Then it flows into Bangladesh as the Jamuna, where it supports millions of people who rely on it for drinking water, farming, and fishing. To put it simply, this river means survival for millions of people across nations. And that's exactly what makes this dam so controversial. Because if sanctioned and completed, this dam would redirect the entire river and control its fate. 
India has raised serious concerns and warnings because the Brahmaputra would virtually become non-existent or far less potent than what it originally used to be. Additionally, Bangladesh as a country already faces a lot of climate-related flooding, and if the flow of this river is disrupted, it would negatively affect the region immensely. China, of course, claims it's all for clean energy, but from a strategic perspective, it holds all the cards. As the country with the upstream advantage, it would decide how much water reaches its neighbors and when. And in an age where water is becoming more valuable than oil, having that control is a serious advantage. But this isn't just a geopolitical issue. The people who live in this region would have to pay a very heavy price. Maidong County is home to remote Tibetan communities, villages scattered through forest and valleys, many of which have stayed untouched for generations. These communities now face forced relocations. Some are being moved to new settlements, others are resisting entirely. To them, this isn't just a dam, it's the destruction of their way of life. And it's not just about the people. The region is a biological hotspot. The gorge that cuts through the Yarlung Sang Po is home to rare species, delicate ecosystems, and one of the most seismically active zones in the Himalayas. Landslides, earthquakes, and flash floods are a regular part of life here. Now, imagine adding a massive artificial reservoir into the mix. One wrong move, one structural failure, and the consequences could be devastating. And then, of course, there's the river itself. The Yarlung Sang Po is spiritually sacred. It holds deep significance for both Hindus and Buddhists, believed to be tied to ancient legends, holy paths, and religious texts. So, yes, the Maidog Dam is about electricity, but it's also about power, in every sense of the word. This project sends a message, not just to neighboring countries, but to the entire world. China isn't just building dams, it's rewriting the limits of what's humanly possible. It can conquer terrain that others won't even touch, and it can do it faster, bigger, and bolder than anyone ever thought possible. If completed, this dam will become a global benchmark in energy infrastructure, a tool for carbon neutrality, and an international statement of control over one of the world's most critical natural resources. This is the kind of story that reminds us how far humans would go to achieve the impossible, and the only thing left to see now is whether this bold gamble, this impossible dam, will actually pay off.